Are you already dreaming about weekend plans? If so, those dreams may include the Covered Bridge Festival. News 10's Lindsay Yates traveled to Park County this afternoon. She has all the excitement and what to expect. It's like taking a step back in time. And for 10 days out of the year, visitors flock to take in a piece of history. So I'll be up there grinding and mixing about 10 hours a day for 10 days straight. People that are interested in the mill or the bridges. Mike Rowe owns and operates the Bridgeton Mill. The shelves are fully stocked with homemade flour, but try as he might, it's never enough. You can never get ahead, no. That's a, but that's a nice problem to have. Working on my signs, how's that? The mill opens that's every year in April. But even on a good day, the amount of business simply doesn't compare. The festival is just wall to wall, shoulder to shoulder people, and uh, it's absolutely amazing. From local staples to out of town vendors. See the magic I did. Take Pam Markham, for example. For 26 years, she's traveled from Newcastle, Indiana. There we go. It's a pretty amazing big event. I mean, it is for me. I mean, it's one of my best festivals all year. Because visitors pour in from all over, spending both their time and money. Lots of birdhouses, wood stakes, ball decor. Making all this prep work well worth the payoff. Rain or shine, snow, whatever, they come. And it's just a big event. And without it, the sights and sounds of this small town would not be the same. This would have been, we'd been gone and the dam, the waterfall would be gone too. Instead, a modern day festival is keeping good old fashioned family fun alive. In Bridgeton with photojournalist John Tim, Lindsay Yates, News 10. There are several must-see sites, loads of shopping, lots of good food and entertainment. For the best covered bridge experience, you can create yourself a plan with the help of WTHITV.com. Go to our website and get started.